Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing an unboxing and sort of my first impressions on a new to me company. This is a company that I've never heard of before. They are I believe brand new and they are a soap slash wax company. Um, the name of the company is called Tanglewood Soap Company and um, it just says here, I'm just going to give you like a little bit of information um, as to what she has on like this little card inside the box. By the way, I didn't open anything. I just like opened the top of the box and I did not dig in yet. So it says, many moons ago, my youngest daughter developed sensitivities to commercial soaps. I began to experiment with my grandmother's old fashioned soap recipe. My daughter outgrew the sensitivity and I never outgrew the need for soap. Over the past 30 years, I've refined the recipe into a masterpiece of nourishing oils, butters, and milks. Using the cold process method to create the most skin-loving and beautiful soaps you've ever used. All of our products are handcrafted in small batches with love and attention to detail. As an artist creating soap fulfilled my creative need, but mixing science with art is simply magical. So I didn't get into my box, but I did look on our website and I watched one other video and they were literally masterpieces of art like they were beautiful so she did include um this handout here and they ship very fast very free very free free did you guys hear that they ship for free priority mail um if you guys order and actually put my name in the comment box at the paypal checkout you will receive free soap with your order so she did list all of the send descriptions um in this little handout here and then all of the ingredients are listed on the products so like i said I opened up the just the top of the box and I am not real sure what is inside but she sent a lot of things um her packaging is beautiful so she's got this taffeta on the top here she is based out of where is she based out of um Louisiana Marksville Louisiana um and yeah it looks like she has a store actually she's open tuesday through friday from 10 a.m to 6 p.m and on saturdays 10 to 3. i will leave all of the information in the description box below but you guys look at this she even has like one of those little like stampy things or whatever on the taffeta super super cute so let me start out by trying to open up this package oh my gosh what is all this this is crazy this is crazy. Okay, so I need to show you guys this again. So she's got all of this like paper and stuff and this huge loofah. Okay, so she included this huge loofah in the box here. So that is awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys, everything is like individually wrapped. Okay, so this is amazing. Okay, here we go. Let me just grab this out. So this also has one of, excuse my, excuse my nails, please. Oh my gosh, it smells absolutely amazing. One of the stamp things on here. Can you guys see that? I mean, I don't want to open it because it is so beautifully packaged. Everything has a theme of the brown um, and the black. Okay, let me open this up. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm, I'm shook. I'm shook, I'm shook. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. These are four bars of soap, and I'm going to be going over each one of them with you guys. Okay, so this first one is Flower Bomb. It says handcrafted goat milk soap, and it is four ounces. This one looks like this. Really beautiful. And let me read Flower Bomb here real quick. This is Jasmine, Freesia, Orchid, Rose, Patchouli, Musk, and Vanilla. Definitely a feminine floral. It says it's a Vi Vicador and Roll of Dupe. I don't know who that is. Who is that? Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells amazing. Eucalyptus Spearmint. This one is going to be probably one of my favorites because I love eucalyptus and spearmint. Look at the detailing, you guys, of the mixing of the colors in there um so this one is fresh eucalyptus leaves blended with refreshing spearmint oh yes this one is patchouli passion that is what this one looks like here 
Oh, so good. So patchouli passion reads, patchouli with a hint of norali, sandalwood, and woods entangled in agave nectar and orange blossoms. Oh, I know a couple people who are going to love these. So it looks like these retail for $6. Um, let me just look at the other ones here. This one does not have a price on it. I will have to check their webs her website to see, but I'm guessing that they retail for $6 because that is what that one said. And then we've got this one, which is Vampire Kiss. So pretty. Ooh, this is really good. Okay, so this one is citrus notes of lime. I smell the lime right away. Orange with berries, cherries, leafy greens, and a touch of vanilla, a strong, sweet, and tart combo. I'm definitely getting the lime and the cherries. You guys know I'm a sucker for cherries. Ginger bergamot. That is what that one looks like there. And ginger bergamot is bergamot surrounded with nuances of freshly ground ginger combined with notes of sandalwood cedar, Indian patchouli, and sweet basil. A little black dress. Mm. And this one is carnation, blood orange, sandalwood, black rose, smoky wood, vanilla bean, and Egyptian musk. A beautiful feminine fragrance. This one smells really good. And look at the top, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? There's like a whole bunch of glitter in there and stuff. Um, let's see. And then this one is called Trashy Romance. Mmm, trashy. Right up my alley. Trashy Romance is tart, sweet, and sassy. Tart berries, orange blossoms, sweet vanilla, and musk. Cajun Girl. Really cute. Look at the heart on top, you guys. Mmm. This one is a Tanglewood exclusive blend of mandarin orange, bergamot, tangerine, peaches, raspberries, white musk, white cake, and Madagascar vanilla. Mmm, that smells really good. Okay, now let's dig into another package that she has here. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the... Oh, this must be the brittle. Okay, so she also has wax brittle on here. Um, let me see. The wax melt brittle. So this one is birthday cake. Ooh, this smells good. Okay, I'm definitely going to be opening this one. Birthday cake is creamy vanilla, buttercream, cane sugar, and cake accord. A true rich birthday cake fragrance. Awesome throw and a bestseller in our shop. Ooh, that smells really good. Very, very rich and creamy and definitely like that vanilla uh, birthday cake mix. And then there is this one here, which is Jammin' Rock Candy. And this one is cherries, strawberries, and tart raspberries with hints of tangy citrus, icy peppermint, and sugary hard rock candy. Ooh, that smells good too. The last one that she has in here is Vampire Kiss, which it looks like this, and then there is the brittle. And Vampire Kiss is lime, orange berries, cherries, leafy greens, and a touch of vanilla, and a very, very, very strong thrower, it says. Oh, that smells really good. Okay, so I'm getting the cherries right off the bat on this one. Oh, it smells heavenly. So, so good. I'm going to have... So much fun melting those. And then what else did she put in here, you guys? This is crazy. It's a lotion. Is this a lotion? What is this? Oat milk lotion in oatmeal milk and honey. This is going to be good for me to try because I have not put lotion on my body as of yet today. And usually I um, put lotion on after the shower every single day. I just feel like that's super important to do. So this is four fluid ounces, and it just says apply as needed to the hands and the body. And then she also has the date on here um, when it expires. So that's nice. Okay, this is thick, but it goes into the skin very nicely, and it is smooth and creamy. And I must say that it absorbs very quickly. And I also must say that I do not have any greasy feeling afterwards. The scent on this is definitely more of an odie than it is with 
honey. It has like a touch of honey, which is really nice because I don't like honey fragrances at all. So that is really, really nice. Bath salt soak. This is add to a hot bath for relaxing tired muscles and soothing the soul. This is in sea salt and driftwood. Um, I don't know how many ounces this is. Let me see. It just is a blend of Dead Sea and Pacific Sea salts to remove toxins, soften skin, and ease tired muscles. Sea salt and driftwood fragrance is a spa blend, clean ocean air, salted driftwood, and warm amber. So I don't really think I'm going to be opening this. Um, I cannot use any sea salt or any salt type soaks because for some reason it it like burns my skin. Like I turn into a vampire when I use a salt anything, like a salt scrub or a salt bath or whatever. But my daughter loves this stuff. So I'm definitely going to be giving that to her to try. And inside, what do we have? Yes, we have a sugar scrub. So this is called the Hot Mess Emulsified Sugar Scrub. And this is a fruity blend of cotton candy, lemon drops, caramel, and raspberry jam. And I am definitely opening this up. I love me some sugar scrub. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is, oh, this is nice. This actually reminds me, it's a little bit coarser than the bathing garden, but not by much at all. Ooh, that smells really, really good. Um, so that is what it looks like there. And it smells fantastic. So definitely check this company out, you guys. Um, again, I will leave all of the information down below if you guys are interested in ordering. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye, everyone.